Good morning. And as you can see, I've got Word up in a web browser. And the reason I can do that is that I subscribe to Office 365 and that gives me access to the web browser version of Word and various other <laughs> applications that are in uh, Office. And uh, as you can see, I'm moving the cursor around and I can type and excuse my typing because uh, I'm at a funny angle and I've got cables all over my keyboard. <laughs> As you can see there, so I can type and I've got my cursor. And uh, yeah, you'd think it's fine. Uh, and <laughs> that's just brought up. I, I pressed the uh, left mouse button and it's brought that up. And unfortunately, it's going to keep that up. So I'm going to just go back and then back again to bring back what I just typed. And um, yeah, the reason it does that is because I will show you. I'm just going to hit the Windows key on my keyboard. And it brings up the Xbox <laughs> home menu. And the reason for that is that this is actually on the Xbox and I'm on the Xbox with the Edge browser. And uh, as you can see, the mouse is working and uh, you can go in here and uh, go along and do the various options, choose the different tabs. If, as you can see here, I've got Game Pass up and uh, Unfortunately, I was hoping, ah, I've got my keyboard and mouse working now. I'll be able to use keyboard and mouse games with Game Pass. Unfortunately, not. And the reason not is because the games that you're getting on here are the ones that are available through cloud gaming, and none of those are the PC versions. So, um, for instance, things like Age of Empires are not going to be there. Any PC-specific game is not there. So you're not going to be able to play PC specific Game Pass games on your Xbox through the web browser, which is a bit of an annoyance. But but if you subscribe to something like Google Stadia, then Google Stadia does support keyboard and mouse and any games that support keyboard and mouse on there should work because obviously this is uh, supporting keyboard and mouse now in the Edge browser. Now, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in me seeing, you know, trying Stadia and seeing if I can get games to work with keyboard and mouse, let me know in the comments because that is something definitely that I'm interested in looking at. And I'd love to do it with GeForce Now as well. But unfortunately, GeForce Now doesn't currently work with the new Edge browser. It seems that uh, GeForce or NVIDIA, I should say, shut that loophole and stopped it working. So yeah, the mouse works perfectly well. There are some idiosyncrasies. I, I did find that the mouse was dropping off for me on, on several occasions. This was when it was wireless. I don't know whether that was a vagary of my mouse or a vagary of the new Edge browser, but it was certainly driving me up the wall. But as you can see here, it does work with a few odd things like this coming up, giving me the virtual keyboard when I don't need it because I've got a keyboard and mouse. But um. Yeah, it does. Oh, I've lost it now. Have I lost it? No, it's there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If I go back to uh, the Xbox desktop, now I can't use the mouse because on the desktop, only the keyboard works. But you can use the keyboard completely to navigate. You can do things like if you hit the Windows key and M, it brings up your menus so you can manage your app. You can quit your app, just like hitting the uh, three little lines on the on your Xbox controller. Can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. As I say, it's the one with the three little lines. Um, and oh, the menu button. There you go. It's called the menu button. If you hit the menu button, you would get this same menu up. The other thing you can do is you can hit, uh, what is it, Win V. And that brings up your customization so you can uh, change the way things are laid out. If you hit escape, you get out of there. And basically, you can navigate the whole thing with a keyboard. Unfortunately, not with a mouse. I don't know if they will in, in, you know, bring in a keyboard and mouse or mouse support specifically to the desktop, because that would be cool if they did that. I'd love to navigate around here with a mouse and then go into games and play the games with keyboard and mouse as well. That would be really slick. And it would turn it into a mini PC in some respects. 
especially if they allow you to play the the Game Pass games that are available on PC via streaming. And uh, I could see that happening. But anyway, look, I just I just wanted to go through this and talk about it a little bit today because I do think this is rather interesting. And I've lost my keyboard now. Oh, I've lost my cursor. One of the vagaries is it, it is that you do tend to lose your cursor from time to time. And uh, what you have to do is you have to go out, quit. And then if you go back in, assuming this is not my mouse that's playing up again, which it could well be. No, there you go. If you quit and you go back in, Unfortunately, this set as default still hasn't been sorted out. Every time you go in, it wants you to set it as default again. I had a lot of people saying this in previous videos. Why are you leaving the set as default thing there? Well, <laughs> I'm not. I keep selecting it and uh, setting it as default and it keeps uh, coming up every time I try and use it. But yeah, as I say, you've got Game Pass. Game Pass runs. Come on, select. It's not letting me select for some reason. Yeah, as I say... It is flaky at the moment. Ah, there you go. It's gone in. It just took its time. Uh, it is a bit flaky at the moment. It is in beta stage or even pre-beta stage, I think. But we have got keyboard and mouse support on the Xbox, certainly within the Edge browser. And that could open up a whole host of possibilities, as I say. But anyway, look, that's me done. I just wanted to do this one to show that the mouse does work. And uh, hopefully in future, it'll... Uh, Give us many, many more options with the Xbox. But for now, I'm done, and I will speak to you in the next one. Bye.